Uh, finally, again, this is the time of year when we talk about and invite you all to give generously to the annual budget, the uh, annual appeal for St. Mary's. This year's theme is Welcome Home, how we engage this place with our spiritual home life. And today, I want to talk to you about the great joy and opportunity that is proportional giving. It's something I'm a big fan of, and I want you to be as well. Um, proportional giving is the concept of giving back a percentage of the income that you receive in your life on an annual basis to the church. Uh, this is actually a very old and biblical concept. Who's ever heard of the tithe? Anyone? So the tithe in, in Christian and Hebrew understanding is giving back 10% of your income to God's community, the church. Now for centuries, if not millennia, this has been the standard for the Christian practice. It, we don't talk about it in the Episcopal Church a lot. However, there are evangelical churches, even in this city, where this is like, you know, this is like par for the course. However, I read a book, uh, an Episcopal understanding of giving a couple years ago that I really liked how they phrased it. We're all invited to engage God through our finances intentionally to proportional giving. And those of us at, at limited or fixed means should be somewhere between one and 5%. Those of us of middling and um, average means should maybe shoot for five to 10%. And those of us with great prosperity and abundance in our lives should shoot for more than 10%, maybe up to 15. The intention is to struggle with it, to be in relationship with it. Uh, because, believe it or not, Jesus talks more about our relationship with money than he does about prayer and social justice. Jesus knows how important our relationship with finances is. So to give you a realistic picture of this, I want to tell you quickly about my journey of proportional giving. It was my mid-twenties when this was introduced to me as a concept by a priest at my church. And I started with 1% of my taxable income. Easy number to go to. If you want to use gross, great. I won't fight you. <laughs> and over several years, I would intentionally go back to that and evaluate, you know, could I do a little more? I eventually got up to where I was giving 7% of my income back to the church. Now, I've, I've got married. I've got kids. That has ebbed and flowed. So currently, my wife and I give 3.5% of our taxable income back to our faith communities. We work at two churches, so we split it. But that 3.5%, uh, if it were one pledge here at St. Mary's, it would be the 29th highest pledge out of 181 pledges, just to give you a perspective. Now, my hope is to get to that 5% at some point, and I'm always asking us, and every year we're asking, could we give a little bit more, maybe a tenth of a percent more? I'm not telling you what to do, but I am inviting you to an active struggle, an engagement of allowing God to be a part of your life through your finances. Because it's important. And it's not just important for St. Mary's. Indeed, that's a part of it. It's important for you. Because this society has one message about money to us. And giving is a way to say that there's a greater message in our lives. It's the love and grace of Jesus Christ. So think about that. Your homework assignment is to go home, pick your tax uh, returns from last year, and figure out what percentage of your income are you giving to the church right now. Just figure out where that is right now. And decide, can you give a little more? Maybe you can't, but I'm inviting you to answer the question because that's a fruitful discernment. <laughs> thank you for that. Oh, I'm sorry. And thank you for all of you who give generously to make this place possible. No matter what. We're now going to turn our attention to this table where we will first witness and then participate in the victory.